regarding um, you as an artist on the platform itself. The tech platform of the live music district in terms of that arm will be developed at the end of the first three month pilot when the business model itself is established and has been shown to work and we can assess and make sure that the in intricacies of it have been sorted out. So it will be post the, the first three months, um, which will be uh, March, April and, and, and May. And then in June, we can then incorporate the findings of that into the system. The plan is to automate the selection process as much as is possible. We have been discussing things such as, now to answer the part of your question in terms of genres, there are some restaurants who have already told us from up front that they're not interested nor do they have the space for live rowdy bands and they prefer more of somebody with a probably R&B or jazz singer, you know, probably in a corner, somebody with a guitar and unplug session to, to depend on the branding of the actual restaurant. There's some venues like the sports bars and lounges and so on that may take a more lively vibe. Um, there are others, for example, like all the way out to, to Queen's Park, Savannah, in terms of the food places there, that may be anything. You know, so it truly depends on the venue that we're targeting, but we will be working with them because we want their buy-in and we want them to book the artists. So we won't be influencing per se their decisions, but we will be ensuring that they're as open as possible to the different genres that can exist there.